Hi, this is part three of my to be read witchy books, and we're still looking at Bridget. Um, I was going through my Facebook feed, I don't know really where I left off with that video, and a friend whose opinion I trust very much so had this book listed that she had just purchased, so I went and purchased it myself. Have I read it yet? Absolutely not. I am so bad. And I'm getting a pretty big list. Ignore the boxes in the background. No, I have not finished unpacking. Do you know what that big box is? That is a box of first, the little box is Funko Pops. And then I have a Art of Journaling and an Art of Journaling accessory kit. Magazines I haven't had time to read. The rest of that is nothing but witchcraft supplies that are a few candles. And the rest is incense. I have enough incense for a small country. So, I found this book and I read it. On the back, Bridget, mother, daughter, healer, bard, warrior, fire goddess, goddess of the oak. Wow. Animals and magic. Bridget is the spring. Her festival in bulk oversees fertility of all kinds. Bridget is many things to many people. In this enticing book, Courtney Weber offers up a wide-ranging exposition and celebration of all things... Bridget, who is arguably the most popular figure in Celtic mythology and religion. Meet Bridget in her various incarnations, Celtic pagan goddess, Christian saint, Caribbean voodoo deity. I like that because being from Louisiana, it does not matter what part of Louisiana that you are from, you are going to know somebody that does a little hoodoo. Now, I didn't say voodoo. I said hoodoo. Louisiana hoodoo is the best. Let's not mistake it with anything else. After that, my wonderful friend with her fantastic choices in books suggested that I purchase Tending Bridget's Flame by Lunea Weatherstone. Awaken to the Celtic Awaken to the Celtic goddess of hearth, temple, and forge. Now then, the reason why this is significant in the new path that I am embarking on. I have been saying on my other channel before I left my other channel, and um that is something that I will not go into on this channel. Um I had discussed that I was going to embrace a new path. And this is not something that I woke up one day and said, you know, I'm really tired of just being solitary eclectic with no other little, you know, tendencies that I could tack in there to make it even more confusing. I think I'll add something else. No. I had a calling in my heart to tell me that I needed to add an element of kitchen witchery and green witchery into my practice as soon as possible. When you have a dream which feels like a vision as deeply as the one that I have, <coughs> yes, you listen. And yes, I listen. And what I was told was it was time to Look, look, look into Bridget again. So, when Madeline suggested this book, I snapped it up immediately. First of all, Linnea Weatherstone. I love Linnea Weatherstone's writing style. If I'm not mistaken, and I'm going to look that up. Now, I do believe that she's written a tarot book or two. Let me look it up. If I'm not mistaken, I really hope I'm not mistaken. Um, let me look that up. Now, as I'm looking that up, I will say that Tending Bridget's Flame, um, did seem a little more in depth to me but that does not mean I am discounting Miss Weber's book of course not we will look of course at the table of contents 
Linnea Weatherstone, Grove Mother. Please tell me the name. I think she did a tarot deck that I have. Yes, it's right there. She did the Victorian Fairy Tarot that I have that I love. A beautiful YouTube um, presence here who has since closed her channel, which is sad. But I do wish her the best on her endeavors. Her name was Diane. Her channel was Mystical Haven. This is one of her favorite decks, the Victorian Fairy Tarot. And when I start going through my decks, I will definitely show the Victorian Fairy Tarot. I, at the time, I was buying all of my decks secondhand. And the box was so bad. But the inside, the cards, the, everything was still wrapped in plastic. It was just amazing. $4.00. That's how much I paid. Regular price is crazy now. But, and it's the good Llewellyn stock too. So I'm very proud of that. But I knew I knew I, and I am, you know, quote unquote, she has on my Facebook, and I do follow her, and, you know, we are friends on Facebook, and she is a lovely, wonderful lady, and I think she just celebrated a birthday. This book is dedicated to the late Patricia Monahan for her generous encouragement in the early days of this book and for years of friendship and inspiration. And I do believe I have some of her books as well. Now then, here is the contents page. There you go. You can pause that if you like. Blow it up. Take a picture, a screenshot. I don't know, but I'm not reading all that. It'll take forever. And she is not kidding with her tables of contents. Bridget of the White Moon, Bridget's Early Birthly Allies, Bridget's Sacred Places, Worship, Devotion, and Prayer, Bridget's Eternal Flame, Flame Keeping, Time and Timelessness, Chapter 4, Forge, The Transforming Flame. I mean, this is some just amazing stuff. Prologue, Invoking Bridget. This is going high on my to-be-read list. About this book, The Devotional Flame, Bridget's Early Journey, Season and Festivals. There are so many things about Bridget that are amazing. And I am blessed to say that Bridget in the Kitchen, that Bridget has come to me and has asked her child to come back. I got a little emotional. And yes, she has. This is Bridget's Fire, The Offering by Joanna Powell Colbert in 2014. That is an amazing picture. Oh, it's beautiful. This is something I would like to incorporate into my Book of Shadows when I start because I want to make it kind of like a scrapbook, make it pretty. And basically, I'm following the crowd here. I'm going to have my pretty one that tells you all the basics in my words, and then I'll have my working one that probably is going to look like junk. But that's a lovely picture. Bridget's Eternal Flame. This is definitely going very high on my list. It says, In Bridget's name I light my flame. Linnea Weatherstone, pick it up. If you like Bridget, as I do, Bridget. Now then, on to the next book. If you have ever watched any of my other channels before I close them, you will know that I love Ellen Dugan. I do. I love her snark. I love her sass. I love her no-nonsense way of writing. It's like she's talking directly to you. It's like you've sat down and y'all are enjoying a, a drink and she's telling you the stories of, excuse my fingers, of, you know, what <clears throat> a story that will, you know, tie a lesson together. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I own almost every book she has made with the exception of, as far as hard copies, there's maybe three that I don't have of the Llewellyn books. This is Practical Prosperity Magic. Crafting Success and Abundance. Ellen Dugan. This has been out for a little while. It has been out 
Let's see. I do not hear some of her books. I do not have the Enchanted Cat, but Cottage Witchery, I do. Herbal Magic, I do not have. Garden Witches Herbal, I do not have. Elements of Witchcraft, I totally have. Um, Natural Witchery, have it and love it. When was this one published? Fourth printing was in 2017. But that is not when this came out. 2014. 2014 is when this came out. So here is her table of contents if you'd like to take a peek. And why did I buy this particular book? We don't have any problems with, you know, finances at this moment in our time. We have been blessed. I will say it to shout it to the rooftops. We have been blessed. We have been blessed. Oh, dear Lord, have we been blessed. The beginning of this book, she tells a delightful story of when she needed some extra cash and was in a hurry and did a spell in a hurry, and it kind of backfired on her a little, and it is just delightful, and it's, it's cute. What you will find in this book, and then she starts with the information of things that you need to know, blessings, happiness, and success. It is full of information, crystals, planetary magic, practical magic. If you've read an Ella Dugan book, you know she's going to try to not leave any stone unturned. This particular picture is the tower card from her tarot deck that I did recently, finally, just acquire. Correspondences. Ganesha, the remover of obstacles. I love Ganesha. Have a fantastic oracle deck of Ganesha or Ganesh. So, the title, Practical Prosperity Magic. And I love the woman's writing. Why would I not buy it? Now then, the next book. Natural Psychic. Ellen Dugan's Personal Guide to the Psychic Realm. Ellen Dugan is a psychic, and she has been since a child. This book I did begin reading, and she tells stories of when she was young, and that's as far as I have gotten. I'd be ashamed. I am ashamed. <clears throat> this book is for her children and for her niece. How sweet. And it's, here's the contents page. Mediumship, tarot cards, uh, psychic phenomena, psychic training. Where do you go from here? This one is full of everything you can imagine that has to do with anything to do with being psychic and things of that nature. I, hey, wait. That's not what happened to me on day four. Okay. It's, you know, see, she's adorable. The way she writes, they're snark, they're sass, and I really enjoy, I enjoy the way she writes. It is a joy. And I would recommend any of her books, whether I have read them or not, to anyone. I do normally and frequently recommend a book of hers if you are having trouble with psychic vampires. It's Practical Protection Magic. It looks like the Practical Prosperity Magic books, except it is purple. Now then, this is fiction, but it is a work of Ellen Dugan. I have all of her Legacy of Magic series books on Kindle that are available at the moment. This is the first paperback book by her that is fiction that I have purchased. Have I read any of it? The first few pages. And I am already in love with the main character. Because she has the same hair color I had when I was young. And I am really looking forward to reading this book. I am going to save my last book for a single video. And the reason why is I think I am going to add a couple of other books with to show you basically what I'm talking about. They are grimoires. 
I have the newest one I have bought is Grimoire for the Green Rich by Anne Mora. It is not a new book. It is a new book to me. And I will come back with that and a couple of other grimoires. And we will look at those. And you can see if it's something you might be interested in. If there's anything else you want to see, if I have it on my bookshelf, I will be more than welcome to make a video about it for you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming to Turquoise Moon. And as always, be blessed. I speak with you again in the next video. Bye for now, guys.